Hello. Hello there. Hi. Good evening, everyone. It's me, Elva, the non-tech techie. And tonight we have Jesper Schultz, who is the founder of Basic Ops. So what is Basic Ops is all about is a team and project management tool. So team, project, and task management tool. So think of Asana and Slack combined, and that's what you call Basic Ops. Now, Basic Ops is no longer available on AppSumo and will not be available again in AppSumo, but there are many users who ask them to come back, uh, to be back with an LTD. And actually, this is the first time that Jasper is going on a live stream. So no one has seen him before online. So thank you so much, Jasper, for your time. And thank you for choosing our channel to uh, to promote um, Basic Ops. So, um, yeah, just so thank you for having me here. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime, anytime. And thanks, thanks so much. It's really a privilege that you are coming to our channel or to our group and present your product. Okay, so Jasper, can you please introduce yourself a little bit and what is Basic Ops all about? Yeah, I can certainly do that. First, I want to apologize for the lay here, uh, as uh, I, this is my first time. And was trying to get all the different pieces together. That was uh, <laughs> a little difficult as it was uh, showing uh, different screens and so forth. So, but we are here. So I'm very excited to be here. And uh, thank you so much, Elma, for having me. Uh, a little about um, you know, like basic ops. Basic ops is really a collaborative um, project management system. And what I mean with that is that it's built for um, companies and teams that want to collaborate and communicate on what needs to be done. So it's not just a project management system necessarily where you just can go and do get chat and so forth. No, it's really about getting everyone involved on the team or in the company to work together to get stuff done. And... Um, let me tell you a little about how we got there. Uh, my co-founder, Hans. Oh, by the way, I'm Danish. So if you hear a little accent, that's uh, a Danish accent. Um, but uh, live in San Francisco. So uh, have been in San Francisco for many years. Um, my co-founder, Hans, and I, we uh, started another co company called um, Jobvite uh, some years ago. And it is... Um, recruiting platform that many uh, companies are using, especially in the States, like LinkedIn, they use all, all job fight to hire all the, oh, a lot of their people and uh, different other companies. So it's going very well for job fight there. And when I was, oh, when I was running it, we were having a lot of trouble trying to keep track of all the stuff that needs to be done. We had email, we had spreadsheet, we had all kind of different tools. But there was nothing that could do it all in one system. So my co-founder, Hans, and I, we decided to build that ourselves. So that's the reason why we have Basic Ops today. We, um, we launched uh, the company in 2017, so have been around uh, for a little while here. We have customers, very happy customers, and... We were just on AppSumo, which was a great thing uh, for us. We really liked the community and everyone was very helpful on giving feedback and all that fun stuff that we need when we create software. So, um, so that was, uh, that was uh, some of the things here that we have been uh, very happy about with AppSumo. So, uh, yeah, that's probably a quick introduction. I think anything I missed, Elma? Um, I, something we missed is that at the end of the live stream, we are actually giving away three um, tier one lifetime deals to our audience. And another thing is that we, because this is no longer available in any marketplace, in any um, uh, marketplace, yeah, actually not available in any other marketplace anymore. And you can only buy this directly from basic ops until the end of the month. And that's the reason why I'm going to have, uh, that's the reason why we had this very quick, um, how do you call this, uh, live stream, because typically it takes me two weeks to bring someone live. But this time I was like, okay, I met with Jasper last Saturday and we are here now. So yes, yeah. this is 
oh we we want this we want to bring this to you guys okay and this is a very exclusive offer and this is the first time that jasper is going live so let's start with the new use cases and a bit of a product demo the the what sorry i didn't get that uh, use cases that you are presenting use cases, yeah so i think i mean uh will basic ops the, the the use case here that that's so i mean actually it's a very horizontal platform that we built can pretty much be used by anyone that wants to collaborate and communicate around what needs to be done create projects tasks subtasks and all that stuff uh we see a lot of people in marketing that are using it and um we also uh see people mainly agencies are using it uh that want to uh, communicate with their clients and customers and so forth so we have a lot of different things here that we can do uh, with basically we also have people that are using it for development so we we haven't really decided or we haven't you know just said hey we're only going to do it for a certain segment or vertical so we kind of open and and kind of want to make sure that it can be used by anyone and the reason for that is really it needs to be so easy to use that if you have a team, people that are not that technical still can go in and use it. In, you know, that's one of the big problems with uh, project management system that is so easy to um, add a lot of functionality and then it just gets too complicated. And then after a while, no one can figure out where things are except the project manager that are running around trying to figure all this stuff out. So, um, I think the, the the biggest use case we have is really for anyone that has the need to co communicate and collaborate about what needs to be done. Okay. And actually, what I like about Basic Ops, so I haven't fully tested it yet. I mean, I just had a um, quick look. Um, what I like is that, okay, you have this visual aid on your project timelines there are charts for it, charts for it and you can see what task has to be done or which one is being you know is slowing you down and stuff like that and this is one of the best ways for someone especially on the management to stay on top of things actually for everyone in the team to stay on top of what you have to do while focusing on your role or like what the uh, stay on top of what the team is doing while focusing on what you have to do so yeah so this is really the beauty of it and you have this chat function inside already which asana doesn't have but they have so which is quite cool yeah yeah i think uh, i mean the the our platform and basic ops was built out uh, on really the communication piece we started right. with that and that's one of the things that is difficult to kind of if you just do you know like oh i want to manage all this stuff but then you don't really have the communication and collaboration built in from the beginning it gets a little tricky to do to do that yeah right and so there then, is a question here like is there an ios or android app for basic ops yes and uh, sean uh, let's see here okay yes uh, i see the question here on um yes we do have an ios and an android app for basic ops and it's actually a full features app so it's a uh, very powerful and uh, i'll show you a little of some of the things that is very useful you know for when you're using it so you can be on the go you you know like you can really uh interact uh with your team at any time okay and nicola is saying this is a comment that she loves the Gantt capability. So thank you for oh, that. Thank you. thank you very much. OK, so shall we start with the, with the demo? Actually, I, li I like the way that the question comes up. That's really cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's cool, right? Okay. So quick, this is my first time. So does everyone see that question, or is it only me that sees it? Um, I, I actually see it, and then I put yeah. it on the screen. So and then everyone on the? And on everyone the... will see it, too. Oh, cool. That is so nice. Yeah, that's yeah. so cool, right? Yeah, yeah. No, this, this is uh, pretty cool. So, um, okay, good. Yeah. So, right. I'll show your so, screen now. Uh, yes, is that? Yeah, go ahead. Let's see. Here. Okay, here it is. How do I see what I uh, what I show? Let's see here. Oh, that right there. All righty. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm showing that just a second here. Uh, oops. All right, let me uh, just get started here and talk a little about 
uh, basic ops. So we are going to start a little here on the home page. And I am logged in as Amanda up here on this. And you can see all the different things that um, she has to do. She has some stuff to review. She has priority tasks or she has tasks that are ordered in priority. And she can kind of figure out the latest things that has been going on on the project. And up here, she has notifications. She can also have a calendar involved and so forth. So a lot of different things you can do right off the, um, uh, the uh, dashboard. Let me just see here. I'm going to see if I can get this out here so I can see what I'm right there. All right, I'm there. So now I... Um, and what I want to do was actually show you a couple of things in here, how this could be used. Uh, first, just a little, this is our navigation out here, and you can do a lot of different things uh, that you need to do. But one of them is in the admin, you can go in here and, and kind of look at all the different things you can do, such as uh, add and, um, and deactivate users. So you can just add them here. We have external users, and then we also have a client. So in here, we have one that's called my tech, and uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, talk a little more about that uh, a little later here. But first, I just want to give a little outli outline of uh, how a project works. So mostly it's built around uh, projects and tasks, sections, communication. And uh, if I go in here and just look at my campaign, I can easily go in and see what I can do here. And um, this one here has an external team on, or a, 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 a client group here. So the client group is called MyTech, and they are actually a part of this project. And what you can, um, what you can do here is uh, look at all the different tasks that are in, or in, in, in the campaign project, and you can see it in different ways. So that's all kind of things. You can see summary. We also have timeline here. We'll do that later. And then we have summary where you can do different things. And then we also have notes for the project. So we can add notes. We also have discussions and then we have files. And this is all for the project. So a pro or the, the hierarchy in, in basic ops is really like uh, you have a workspace and within there you have projects and within the projects you have tasks and um, you also have sections. And... Um, and that's kind of how it works. But let me go in and talk a little about the, the task here. And uh, in this case, you can see we have cost and budget for this uh, campaign. And in here, we actually can do a lot of different things. We can uh, we have the title up here, and then we have this, the description. But the key piece, or one of the big uh, differentiators we have is we have this discussion tab directly within hmm. the tab. So in here, I can just go in and say, oh, I want to send this to, you know, like, uh, let's say, who do we want to do? We want to, you know, just say Riot or something like that. Or we can also say, you know, could you give me an update? And and now, oops, and now Raya, she will get... Um, she will get uh, notified about this and she can reply to that. Uh, we can also, um, let's see here, uh, where is he? Do, do, do. if we go down here, I can also, uh, in this case here, and I will go and talk a little more about that. I can go in here and say, uh, let's see here, Alex or something like that. You can, could you, could you give me an update? Uh, another uh, update here. And this one, yeah, so I wanted to talk a little about this. In, in this case, we have the project team. And um, we also have a client team associated. So I could add the client team because actually I did want to get, you know, one from the uh, other teams. I wanted to get, the, let's see, Drew here. I wanted Drew to actually uh, give me the update of this because he's the client. So you can see here, there's a little, I kind of, first I did it with just the project team and now with the client team. In this case here, the little uh, lock here actually indicates uh, who can see what. So you have total control of the task that you can uh, share with people or um, agencies or clients or vendors and, and so forth. 
So here we can do this one. And, um, and now uh, Drew, he actually would uh, get a, um, a message here uh, and, and can answer to that. And I was trying to figure out where I had that, but I don't want to see here just a second. There we go. I did not have that. Okay, so let's see here. I did not get that message there in the right place. So I, I'm trying to figure out the windows here and uh, they did not um, go too well. Um, but in this case here, uh, I can, I can uh, organize the client access here and I can say they have access or they have no access. So this is a little of the client portal. Uh, you, you can say, or you have what, what the, what the clients can see. So in this case here, if you do a project um, with clients, you can manage all that stuff in here. Um, let's see. Any questions on this here? Um, okay, there are actually a couple of questions that came up. Uh, just give me one moment. But it's more on one is integrations. Do you, can we integrate with any, say, e-commerce shops? <clears throat> So what we do is um, we act, okay, so let's go over to integrations here. We're going to mm -hmm. move in. We have a bunch of integrations over here. And what we, we what you can do is actually use Paply and Sapia to integrate with these different things. So if you have something that needs to be integrated mm -hmm. with one of those, you just use Sapia or uh, Paply. So um, let's see here. Did that make sense? Yes, it makes sense. So, okay. yeah, so because have, most of us have Pabli anyway. Yeah, uh, so we are using Pabli, so this is perfect. Yeah, and one of the things on uh, Pabli also is that uh, we are continuing developing this uh, mm -hmm. with the Pabli and working with them. So if there's any request or think, oh, it would be great if you guys can do this, then uh, you can easily go into uh, Basic Ops and uh, do a request. So let me just show you a little about that here. If I go up here on the question mark, you can actually go and add feedback in here. And okay. we also have a roadmap and we have different things that you can do in here. So if I do, oh, now it goes on a different tab. Let's see here. You can see, what am I sharing right now? Share this tab. All right, so I think I have to share this. Oh, okay, I go between them. Sorry about that. So now you can see here, we have a whole thing with feedback and you can go in here and you can upvote things and, and you can add things. And, and uh, we look at this all the time and we are, uh, we are, uh, kind of, we, we are uh, then updating the roadmap and what, what's on the way. And you can actually see that directly over here. Right. So to answer your question, Sean, yes, Basic Ops has its own roadmap. Yes. So we have the roadmap <laughs> over here. And of course, you know, we have things we are working on that are not necessarily in the roadmap. So uh, not everything is in the roadmap, but most of the things that our users, they ask for, we kind of put it in here and, and show that here, right here in the, in the roadmap. We also hear the recent updates. We just did client access control a little while back and we have a couple of other things coming out right now and you can just go in here and say okay now we have this and you can go in and set that up so um but let me also just um let me see if there's any other okay there's another question regarding um integration do you have webhooks we do not have webhooks right now uh, available. We are working on that uh, together with an API. So um, that's, I mean, it's taking a little while, but uh, we, we should have, we will get some of that stuff up um, fairly quickly. We, do, we haven't quite, we don't quite uh, know what skew it's going to be on uh, right now it's it's scheduled for the enterprise version but hopefully we can figure out something out that would be in the professional version also okay and somebody's saying it's great news that it's already working basic ops already working with pabli so thanks so much Shikar. and there's yeah, another yeah, that's, that's it. we have a lot of actually uh, customers that are using pabli and sapia so that makes it 
so much um, easier for them to uh, kind of get stuff done. But you guys know that already. Right. And Fernando say he loves basic ops. I think he means he loves it, not leave it. <laughs> I live with it. That's okay, Fernando. Love that. So thank you so much. Um, because Fernando and this widget actually work together, and this widget is already one of your customers, and they oh. use this during team collaboration. So that's so they are users too. So I have here oh, awesome. some that are yeah. users. Okay, yeah. and uh, let's go to. Let me. Um, mm -hmm. So so I think. Uh, let me just see here. I want to just do. do, 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 do. Just a second here. I'm not exact. Okay. Uh, let's see. What am I having there? Sorry. Uh, there we go. Anyway, so um, on the on the integration side, so that's an important thing for us, and we are looking at other integrations also. For example, one of the things we did have was we got a lot of requests for harvest, but then as soon as we got harvest in. Then people will ask, oh, can't you do it yourself uh, in, in basic ops? So there's a lot of demand for that, especially for the AppSumo users. So let me see if I can uh, show that. Um, so in here, we can actually go and just look at a project also. And you can actually add, you can start a time on this. So we actually have time tracking in basic ops. You can see it goes here, it goes away there. And then you can go and stop and start it in here. So that has been a big success. Uh, so I don't know how many um, on this call is interested in time tracking, but this is uh, uh, you know very interesting. So you could stop it here, and then you can go down here and you can look at the the time in this case. If you want to get an overview of all the time tracking, and I don't know if I have anything in here, but I'm just going to show it. You can go and get some reports down here and you can kind of see what you want to do and what you want to, you know, if you want details or whatever it is, and you could go and do all that stuff. And then you can import, export it also. So for each project, you can actually go and do all the time tracking you want and export it to um, uh, a CSV file. And then you can import it into any billing system you have or something like that. So um, uh, let me see here if there's... Uh, so it sounds like um, people are interested in in that. So um, let's see here. So that also we have other reports here. If you want to go and look at it, you can see different things. You can see how many tasks different people have. Also, this demo here doesn't really have a lot in it because nothing has been done. But uh, you can actually see the different uh, tasks that are completed on a daily basis. You can also see the progress on here or task or time if you want to see that. So different ways of looking at it. And uh, that's uh, very helpful. So when you want to get a, an overview of your project, you just go in here and you can see all the stuff that needs to be done in here. So let's just go and see here we have, um, a, I went over to the product roadmap and just wanted to show you a little on, you know, we have the board view here. And you can actually move things around like you would expect. And you can see the, 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 I mean, the screenshots or files as you have. And if you go to the files, you can say, I uh, use this as a cover uh, for the boards if you're uh, working with the board view or something like that. Um, and in here, that's just a little example of uh, the discussions here. I just want to show a little more of. Uh, you can see here, uh, you can do, you know, thumbs up. You can do different things in each discussion. You can even reply to this discussion directly. So it's not just one long list. You actually can, for each of them, go in and reply and have discussions around one topic in a task. And this is all over. So it's in tasks, it's in projects, it's everywhere where you have that kind of information. And that way you can get things uh, done very quickly. Another thing I wanted to kind of just point out here in this case, I personally work mostly in, um, in uh, list view. And uh, a couple of other things up here, uh, you, can, uh, you can time it, but you can also put estimates on here. So you say this takes two hours or two weeks or uh, how long it is. So you can, and that could be used. I will go on in the timeline in a second, see if we can take a look at that. Um, 
And then uh, here, uh, let's see here, what was it I wanted to, oh, I wanted to show. This is really interesting also because we have, um, we have status, it's all built in. And in here, you can actually go in and say, you know, uh, actually this is in progress now. So every, you can see the colors change. Everyone for transparency, if you're on a project, you can see what's going on. The person that are uh, maybe running the project or whatever can, um, can uh, also um, uh, kind of get a quick overview on what's, in pro what's on hold. Another one that's really important is, oh, I'm blocked. So now it's red. Everyone can see it's blocked and you know you can resolve it and you will put a note in why it's blocked. But then the last one here uh, I wanted to point out is this, you can say, I want a review and then you can add, add people to give it a review. And what's nice about that, you can add files, you can do all that stuff, uh, is that they will be notified that they need to have a, or, uh, give a review on a, a task and that way you can move things forward. And when you are done with the review, you can move it forward or get it back to a review or whatever you need to do. And I think there's a question here. Let me see. Uh, yes. And in the task reply, can we attach files? Yes, we can attach files over here. Uh, let me just see here. Yeah. Uh, you can see this is a screenshot here. Uh, mm -hmm. But it, it's a, it's just a file. So you can add any files in here. If I we have this file integrations uh, down here where you can actually add from Google uh, Docs and you can uh, do from Box, Dropbox, or you can also select from any other task or project in the system. So, uh, and there's no limits on the on the upload, only the time it probably takes to go, get uploaded or downloaded. So, um, so that's kind of um, interesting. Another thing that's, uh, let me see here, this one, is that's in the box now, let's not do that. Actually, I thought I had one. Mm, let's see here, can we create direct shopping? So right now, um, and is that Leo? Yes, is Leo. So Leo? the question is, can we direct create direct uh, short link URL? So the, you can you can put a link to it, but uh, right now the way um, clients have to look at it is they have to sign in. But they as so, soon as they sign in, the first time they will be locked in for a while. So they, they don't. I mean, they just click a link and then they go directly into Basic Ops and they can do the uh, reply in there. So so that should be. Uh, did, did that ask or answer your question, Leo? Let's see here. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. I think that's. Uh, yes, that's, it did. Um, also, if we look at the project roadmap, I mean, oh, another thing that I just wanted to point out, it, it is obvious, but you can move things around here very okay. easily. You can you drag can everything. Drag and drop. So you can also drag it out to one of the projects. So it's, it's pretty, uh, and you can make uh, subtask out of it here. So we have ta task and subtask. Uh, so in here, we have one more, add more description. You can go in and you can look at these things here. So you have the, the hierarchy there and you can move it around um, between the sections or wherever you want to put it. So, um, but let me just, I want to do one other thing so here. Okay, well, well, we are still on the groups here or the task um, chats. Can you name yeah. each group chat? Yes. So uh, in the group, or oh, you mean in here. So here's our chat functionality here. So mm -hmm. in here, you can actually name the group chat, for example, sales team. Then you have a, a group chat with the sales team. And you can go in here and you can edit who is in there and manage the participants okay. and so forth. So, you know, you can see who's in here, you can add them, delete them, and so forth. So that makes it really powerful as a group chat or, I mean, it's not quite a channel like in Slack or, uh, but it's, 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 uh, it's more a group chat that you can name. Let's see here. All right, let's see, 52. So we are, so let's see any other, so should we go over to questions right now? I mean, I have a bunch of stuff I could, sh actually, I do want to just quickly, let me see if I can get this, uh, the timeline here, Oops, if we have that. So in here we have uh, the timeline, you can go in and, and look at that and you can actually, um, 
see the different tasks and you can move things around and you can do different things. So in this case here, I could just say uh, recalculate this one and then it will go in and show all the different tasks. So we have different, you can move things around and so forth. So this is really an interesting way of doing it. We have the status here. You can see all of these things here. We give you feedback on what it is. We take into account the due dates and, and who, it is, who is going to do it. So you can move things around manually, and then you can just say, oh, I want to recalculate it, and then it will calculate the best way of doing this. So in this case here, it will automatically do that. It takes into account the start date, and, um, and then there's a couple of settings you can do here uh, that can do consistency, and then you can say as soon as possible or just in time, and then you can update things, and it will automatically update. So um, this is a really... Um, what I would say, powerful feature uh, in basic ops, and you can easily manage all of your tasks and the team's tasks right here. Just wanted to point that out quickly. Um, then I have one, one last thing I wanted to show was just in, in the project, um, you also can have project notes that you can sh uh, share with your team. So, and this is all, it's real time updated. So if someone else go in and starts uh, updating this, this will happen in real time. So just a quick uh, thing. That, so it, it kind of gets all the pieces together with notes. And these are actually uh, tasks that you can go in and look and you can even also take this one here and you can create a task directly in here and it, it is in your project. So you can easily go in here and say, oh, for Amanda, I actually want to add, add this to someone else, to Mary or something like that. And then it's assigned to Mary. And now you have this in your notes. So you easily can do meeting notes and, and, and so forth. So um, and collaborate with your team that way if, you're, if you so desire. Um, let me see. I think that's probably, let's see, 54. Yeah. Um, Elma, should we take other questions or? Uh, yes, you could take other questions. There are a couple more questions. Okay. So basic ops has Kanban, but no Gantt chart. Or you also have a Gantt chart? We 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 use the timeline for that. That's kind of what we call the, this is a Gantt chart. It's not a real Gantt chart, but it is, uh, it's in the timeline. Okay. And let's see the next question. Okay, question from Fernando. Can you manage different companies within basic ops? So, you, I mean, it depends on how you set it up. If you have, if you're working with five different companies, you, I, I recommend that you use a workspace for each. You could use the, the client, you know, like for each client, you can create five different companies, but that gets a little complicated, I think. So you would need a workspace for each of uh, the companies that you are working with. Okay, and because I believe that a license is only valid for one workspace, one and workspace, yeah. is that right? But yeah. you can create as many projects within the workspace. Yes, and you can also you can create as many. Uh, let me just show you this here over there. Uh, in the admin here, if you have clients, you can you can actually edit, you can you can actually edit this and just call it companies. If you want our company and company, and then you, you could go in here and now this is called companies up here and then you can create each for each of the companies. So that's kind of what it is not as powerful as if you have a whole workspace, but it, it no, you could do it that way if you want to mm -hmm. get around the limits. Otherwise you would have a workspace for each company. Okay. And, and okay, nice about a, 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 a workspace that is that's totally separate for from anything. So that there's no that there's, there's no interaction with one workspace to another one. Okay, so for example, I have you I have different workspaces. So how can I switch workspaces from this view? So in this case, you can go over here, and normally, if you have more workspace, if I had more workspace, they would show up over here. So okay, you can just go from each of them. So um, Amanda doesn't have any right now. So, but otherwise, you just have a list of your workspaces over here. We are working on uh, left navigation where you can just click on it and you can see it directly 
uh, on the left side over here in this area. Okay. And then there's a question here. Last question from Fernando. Uh, is there any white labeling C name feature on the road roadmap? We don't, we have the C name. We have gotten a lot of requests for that. We haven't really made any decisions on what to do on that because it gets a little complicated uh, how you do it in our system. Um, and uh, yeah, so we don't have any, um, we don't have what I would say, any plans for it right now, except that we are evaluating it. And then on, uh, oh, what was the other question? Uh, white labeling and white labeling, we have, we have a, um, what I would say under the workspace here, we have a couple of different things you can do and you can enable white label here. Uh, so we have a couple of things here in the workspace you can turn on and off, but uh, that's the extent where uh, you can, you know, show your, you know, your um, your logo and your company name will be displayed here, and then also on emails that goes out from Basic Ops, it will tell you that it comes. I mean, what company it's in. So that's the white labeling we have at this time. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. That's a... uh, do you want to answer more questions? I can show more questions. So this is more of a comment. So Sean said he's going to manage all of his 38 companies with basic ops. So thank you for that. Wow, uh, okay. Uh, so Mashikar is asking about SSO. Um, if Google SSO, we they already Google, have it. We have that uh, SSO with Octa and other things. That's in the enterprise version. That's not going to be in the professional version. So yeah. we have a couple of different versions. We have an enterprise version where some of these things are. So the tier one, two, and three are all professional, professional versions, right? Yeah. So and that should be mm -hmm. that should be good enough for most people. Okay. And from Dinesh, she's asking if we can do centralized progress tracking of all the projects. Centralized process tracking for all projects. Let me think about that. Yes, I mean, we have. I'm not exactly sure how you want to do it, but you could go in here and you can you can you, you can check the different projects in here. I don't know if are you asking about a roll up or something like that. I be, I think what he's asking is that, for example, in my workspace, I have twenty projects, and yeah. I can see in one view what is the status of each of the projects. Yes. You can see that here in this. You click on the project and you see all the status, and in here you can see you know. This here is, uh, let's see here. Go and see. This is in trouble. This one, so you can easily go in here and look at each, uh, each, uh, what I would say, each project in in a list. And you can you can filter on open, or if you just want to see on part or in trouble or at risk, you can go in and see that in here. And so you'll, if something is at risk, you can go in. You can put a comment into the discussion and say why it's in, at risk, and then you can take a look uh, there. Okay, and there's one last question here before we proceed to the next part. Uh, can we bring in webhooks? So you already answered this earlier. Please answer again. Yeah, no, we, we don't do that at this time. That's on the roadmap. And we actually, some of these things are going to be in the enterprise version and some of it is going to be in the professional version. Okay, thank you. All right, so what's next? Let's see here. Uh, what... Do you, uh, how much time do you have here? Or... Uh, we can still have 15 minutes if you wish. I think we should probably just, uh, let's see. I actually think if there's more questions, that's probably, uh, I mean, I showed a bunch of stuff in the product. So, oh, enough, um, uh, I think. And then maybe if there's more questions or, yeah, I think that's probably good. Okay. Hey guys, by the way, I just dropped the link. Uh, it's actually pinned on top for the form for you to fill up if you want to join the giveaway. Now, can we discuss the offer? Because some people are asking like uh, from Mandy, let me just see here. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So I think the... Do they get better upgrade pricing if we attend this attended this live webinar? So actually what what we are doing is, and, and you have to kind of send an email to, or I don't know how you want to do it, Elmer, but we are, 
uh, as the LTP is not available on AppSumo and that's not coming back, we have an offer and it's mostly actually for our AppSumo users, but uh, we talked to Elma and she would like to see if we can do it here also. Um, we can give the LT or our basic ops LTD. Uh, so that would be a very good um, uh, offer. And uh, I can probably, sh should I share that? Uh, uh, yes, please. So let's yes, see please. Find that. Uh, and that's only through Elma, really. So you can't get this otherwise. Uh, let's see here. If I can share this tab instead. Let's see. Can you guys see my tab? Yeah, I think so. Yes. We All can. right. So Let this is kind of the, the tiers. You can see the different tiers we have down here, the pricing on this. And this is only available until January uh, 31st, then it goes away. So um, they, you need to be signed up. You actually have, after the 31st, you have you know, 14 days to upgrade, downgrade, and also uh, cancel if for whatever reason it's not working. So um, that's, uh, that, that's what we have right now. Okay, so, all right. And Mandy, it's pinned on top there. <clears throat> okay, here's the form again, just to make sure that everyone could see it. Okay, so any other questions? Oh, no, I lost Jasper. All right, I'm back. Yes, you're back. Yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, it happens. No worries. Okay. So, yeah. So, no more questions so far. So, is there So, we've seen the offer and so there is tier 1 at 159 and tier 2 at 269 and tier 3 at 479 what will happen after the live stream is if you're interested just send me a dm on facebook and i'll send the link because i still need to get the link from jasper yeah i don't have uh, a link to this page yeah I'll, I'll get that to you yeah okay but is no other questions so far let me just check All right. Well, that's a question. Oh, about the form channel link. coming. What? She he is on Facebook. That's why. Okay. Let me just check. Hey, Mandy, it's on YouTube. I will send you a DM on how do you call that here in Messenger. Okay. So I found him. I forgot that I am also streaming on Facebook. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's two different. Okay, cool. Interesting. That's right. Form. Hey, Bush, oh. can you send me an, Bush, can you please send me a DM on Facebook and I'll send you the form? Because I asked them to fill up a form. So it's easier for me to put their names on the wheel of names at the end of, uh, of the live stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. So please get the form in. The, there's three LTDs going out on yeah. the tier one. So uh, yeah, you definitely want to get the get in on that. Okay. All righty. All right, I think that's it. Uh, so I'm just waiting for you guys to fill up the form. And once it's done, we will start with the... Okay, we will start with the, draw, uh, with the lucky draw. Yeah. Are we doing that online or offline? Oh, yes, we are doing that online. Oh, We're cool. doing it live. Uh, okay, uh, one more question from Dinesh. Can we set strategic goals for projects? We don't have goals necessary, but I mean, you can you can roll it up to a task or whatever you want to do. So we don't have something that we call goals directly in there. 
but do you have um Okay, maybe in, instead of goals, maybe how can we measure KPIs, like KPIs for projects completion? Do you have tools for that? No, we don't have that at this time, not KPI. Okay. KPI. However, we do have, and that, that's uh, go, probably going to be uh, used for that, is uh, on the roadmap, we have custom fields. We don't have custom fields yet, so we are actually working on that right now. And I think you can uh, use that for the KPIs if you want. Okay. See if any other questions. Okay, so no more other questions. Can we go? Is it okay if we go back to the offer screen so that they see which one is what is tier one exactly, what is tier two exactly? Because we just had the yeah. glimpse earlier. Yeah. Let's do that right here. Can you see it now? That should be there. Yes, we can see it now. So, so if you could, okay. Let's just, I mean, all of this is based on the professional plan and the differences is in the different LTDs, which is a fantastic offer. You have, you know, either five users and hundred gigabytes, you have 20 users or 250, or you have 50 users and 500 gigabyte. Um, that's kind of the differences on the different tiers. So um, if you start doing the math on what it normally costs to get a, uh, uh, a license for basic ops it's uh, it's a good deal let's say it that way <laughs> <laughs> it's a good deal yeah 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 especially that basic ops has been in, uh, around since 2017 so there is a, a lot of stability with this app uh, quite a lot of companies don't even last you know a couple of years in this space <laughs> i will say oh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? You know, we, we are, i mean we, we we are passionate about this this is pretty, right and also what i would like what I would like you guys that are on the call, I mean, when you sign up or you use it, uh, let's get feedback. I mean, um, uh, and, you know, and upvote the different functionality. I think that's kind of the, the best way of doing that because we are looking at, you know, people say, oh, I really need this, but that's only one person that needs it. It's like, okay, we're kind of trying to figure out what most people, uh, you know, need. And then we take that into account when we decide what to do on the um, on the roadmap and the implementation. And we don't do everything. It's really it needs to fit into our plan. Uh, so even if there's a lot of request for something, maybe that's not exactly where it works in. We just um, that's a, a question here on the CRM right now, and uh, we we're not looking at that. We are focusing on you know, this collaboration around project management and so forth. So we, we don't have any plans on doing a CRM right now. Okay. Okay, so let me just upload the names on the wheel of names. And while doing this, um, Miru is asking about, uh, do you have any CRM? Actually, she's asking if you have any roadmap on CRM or will there be any CRM here? No. No, no, that that's what I was. Yeah, I think you were busy with the the drawing, but I was just uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, no, no, that I, I was just mentioning that that's not on our roadmap right now. Uh, okay. We have, we have gotten a couple of requests, but not a lot of them, and uh, we are, we really want to be the best collaborative, you know, and platform for how you get stuff done. Right, really and the, yeah, and to be um, how do you call this? Uh, to be a uh, and Asana plus Slack like, alternative. I mean, combining these two functions is already a big deal. There are some project management tools that has the functionality similar to Slack, but they lack the, uh, the but they lack the feature on having, say, Gantt charts or Kanban boards. So mm -hmm. this is the first time I've seen one actually that it can combine both. I think also just to highlight for everyone that's uh, still on the call that, I mean, one of the things we are trying to do is actually not to do everything. That's really our, the trick here. It is, we want to do the core piece of what, 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 what you're collaborating on and how to make decisions on that. And then uh, try to not do a whole bunch other things that could distract people because uh, there are systems out there where they have all kinds of features. It's easy to add features, but then you just can't figure out how to use it. So we, we are really trying to make this easy to use for everyone. Okay, so I'm almost done with the, with the draw.
And while you're doing that, just want yeah. to once again apologize a little for the technical difficulties we had at the beginning. That was uh, that was interesting, and um, some of the things we actually I, I figured out on the way. This is a great platform for this. This is really cool. I'm going yeah, to I'm surprised this is our first time live. <laughs> Uh, okay. uh, you can see it's like it was a little shaky, but you know that's okay. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Uh, okay, you should have seen my first live stream. It was awful. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Okay, so now I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to call everyone um, that I saw or that submitted the form. And if you haven't submitted the form, do submit it soon and tell me if you can find your name on the screen. Ooh, nice. Can you see that? Okay, so fingers crossed. Okay, good luck, everyone. So I'm just going to do a roll call. So I have your Bush, Miru, Joe Ginder, Mandy, Biswajit, and Kit. Yeah, the name that you could never pronounce, <laughs> Biswajit, and Kit, Sean, Fernando, Rosie, Dinesh, Leo, HM Shuja, and Inderpreet Singh. Did I miss anyone? Okay, nobody's complaining, so that's good to hear. <laughs> nobody's complaining. So we yet. have a total, total of 14 submitted entries. Is that correct? That's correct. 14 submitted One. entries. We love them. So let's okay. shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And winner number one. Um, whoa. Wow, this is... Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's okay. <laughs> so that's Joginder Sharma. Congratulations, Joginder. <laughs> yeah, you, we just missed you so much, Ekar. Uh, Joginder, are you around? Um, okay, I'm going to draw the next one while I'm waiting for Joginder. <laughs> this is fun, huh? Okay. Next one is HM Shuja. Um, is Joe Ginder around? I need to add dramatic music. Okay, um, Abhishek. I need uh, I need something too. You have to give me the background music. Okay. Oh, there's one follow-up question. Are, yeah. Is there any task dependency when it comes to task? Yes, we have task dependency in uh, the timeline. Yes. Okay. And hey, and Abhishek and Andy did not fill up the form. Okay, so I found Joginder is here. And HM Shuja, where are you? I am not seeing your message. So I'm going to draw the next one. So I confirm Joginder is here. Okay, let's shuffle, what, what shuffle. happened? There was four before. Oh, there were fourteen before, and now there's only thirteen. Is oh, that I have yet? because they won. Yep. Okay. I forgot to remove um, H M Shuja, but it's fine. Everybody knows that he's already here. Okay, and there are actually fifteen viewers, so some did not even join the. Oh. Okay, Biswajit, you're already a user. He's already a user, yeah. Oh, Alberto, sorry, I did not get your name. But it's already too late. I already did the draw. Okay, so thanks, everyone. So we have the three winners, Joginder, Isham Shuja, and Biswajit. So to claim the prize, please send me... They need to create an... Account in basic create, they, are create, they just sign up for the professional version and mm -hmm. then we will make it into the free version uh, after that. Okay, so, they, so and they to can actually, mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, sorry, so to Joginder, Biswajit, and HM Shuja, please create an account in basic ops. And once it's done, send me a DM on Facebook. Um, yeah, send me a DM on Facebook. Which email did you use to sign up? So I can send yeah. it to Jasper. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. And then, so what will happen is that we'll make that, we'll, uh, we'll create, a, a, or we'll do the LTD here. 
tier one for you guys. So that should be fine. And then if anyone else on the call wants to um, get a version of the LTD, then you can just email Elma. And uh, I don't have the link yet. I will get it right I'm after going, this. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to send you the link. And then mm -hmm. that way you can use that link to send to them. Uh, All right. And, and I will also post in the group. Um, it would be or not. just an email. Yeah, just the email. We, we don't really want to. I mean, this is a special thing for people that are on. So uh, it's not a it's not one. I mean, I think we need to kind of. OK, uh, no worries. Yeah. So to anyone who's interested, send me uh, to get the LTD. Send me a DM on Facebook and I'll send a personal link for you. Yeah, it would be great. Okay, so thanks so much, yeah, Jasper. And also for everyone on the call, just keep it for yourself. This is a special thing. We are, we're not doing this um, to anyone else. So uh, it was really the AppSumo users that we had on and then you guys. So uh, we, we're not really promoting it anywhere else. So it's all hush-hush. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all hush-hush secret. Everyone on YouTube knows about this now. How, did, how, oh, how do we deal with that? No, oh, it's okay. Wow. They don't have the link. <laughs> they, they, they don't have the link and they have to email you. So, I mean, yeah, exactly. That's kind of the idea. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. And I'm going to see you again uh, uh, to, to the audience, to our group. Uh, we're, I'm going to be live again on Tuesday. No, today's Tuesday. So on Thursday. And what we have would be, I'll have Stuart Spice from second number. And again, thanks, Jesper. Thanks to Basic Ops. And see you again next time. Yeah, thank you for everyone, uh, right. to everyone here. And uh, see you next time. Okay, bye. Bye.